Hello, good morning viewers. As part of our lesson for finding the inverse of some functions, in this tutorial, we are going to look on to how to find the inverse of logarithmic functions. And we have five problems in this tutorial. And let us start with the first one. The first one, we want to find the inverse of the function log of x with the base 3. And here is the problem. As always, we are going to start by replacing f of x with y. So y will be equal to log of x base 3. Secondly, we are going to switch x and y. So wherever we have y, we write x. And where we have x, we write y. And lastly, we are going to solve for y. For definition of logarithm, this base 3 here raised to the power of x will give us y. So y is equal to 3 raised to the power of x. And finally, we replace y with f inverse of x. Therefore, the inverse of our function will be equal to 3 raised to the power of x. And this is our solution. Now let us take the second problem. The second problem is f of x equal to log of 2x minus 3 base 2. Alright, let us replace f of x with y. So we have y equal to log of 2x minus 3 base 2. Secondly, we are going to switch y and x. So we have x equal to log of 2y minus 3 base 2. And now we are going to solve for y. Remember that our base raised to the power of x will give us 2y minus 3. So we say that 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 2y minus 3. And now we are going to add 3 to both sides such that 2 raised to the power of x plus 3 will be equal to 2y. And lastly, we divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is 2. So y will be equal to 2 raised to the power of x plus 3, all divided by 2. And what we need to do here is to replace y with f inverse of x, and we are done. Therefore, our inverse function is nothing but 2 raised to the power of x plus 3 divided by 2. Now let us take problem number 3. Problem number 3 is f of x equal to log of 4x squared minus log of 2x. So here is our problem. We are going to first of all replace f of x with y. So we have y equal to log of 4x squared minus log of 2x. Now let us switch x and y. We have uh, x equal to log of 4y squared minus log of 2y. I remember from one of the laws of logarithm, it says that if you have log of x minus log of y, if and only if they have common basis, you can always assign them a single log. This is log of x divided by y. So we can apply the same thing here. Therefore, x will be equal to log of 4y squared divided by 2y and 4y squared divided by 2y is the same thing as 2y because 2 can go into 4 2 times and y can go into y squared y times so x equal to log of 2y and from here we can solve for y remember that any log without an assigned base is in base 10 therefore naturally this has a base 10 so we can directly say that 10 raised to the power of x is equal to 2y. And now we divide both sides by the coefficient of y. y finally is equal to 10 to the power of x divided by 2. And finally, we are going to replace y with f inverse of x. Therefore, our inverse function is equal to 10 to the power of x divided by 2. All right, problem number four. Problem number four, we have f of x equal to the natural log of the square root of x. 
first of all let us replace f of x with y so we have y equal to the natural log of the square root of x secondly we are going to switch y and x so we have x equal to the natural log of the square root of y but remember that natural log is logarithm to the base e so x is equal to log of square root of y base e so from here we can apply the definition of logarithm e to the power of x is equal to the square root of y i remember we want to solve for y and hence we can square both sides so we have e to the power of x all squared equal to square root of y also squared and you can see that y is equal to e to the 2x and finally we can replace y with f inverse of x our inverse function is equal to e to the 2x and let us take the last one our last problem is f of x equal to 4 multiplied by the natural log of 2x minus 1 plus 3. Alright, let us replace f of x with y. So we have y equal to 4 multiplied by the natural log of 2x minus 1 all plus 3. Now let us switch x and y. We have x equal to 4 multiplied by the natural log of 2y minus 1 plus 3. And now we are going to solve for y. Let us subtract 3 from both sides. We have x minus 3 equal to 4 multiplied by the natural log of 2y minus 1. Now let us divide both sides by 4 because of this 4. We have x minus 3 divided by 4 equal to the natural log of 2y minus 1. You should always remember that natural log is a logarithm to the base e. Therefore, e to x minus 3 divided by 4 is equal to 2y minus 1. Let us add 1 to both sides. So e to the x minus 3 divided by 4 plus 1 is equal to 2y. And finally, we can divide both sides by 2. So that y will be equal to 1 over 2 e to the x minus 3 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 2. And now we are free to replace y with f inverse of x. Therefore f inverse of x which is our inverse function is equal to 1 over 2 e to the x minus 3 divided by 4 plus 1 over 2. And hence, this is our inverse function. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.